Hello everyone, Nickelgun2403 here. I'm not a type of person to be talking about games and stuff because uh, the way I review them is like, um, okay, I'm very enthusiastic on every single game that I play and then like, I, I always see enjoyment in playing them, even if they're, they're the worst or unless I committed to uh, hate the game, then yeah, that's a different story. So the, the, the game I wanted to talk about was the Devil May Cry Peak of Combat. As you can see from the first few clips, yeah, that is just me uh, comboing around. The Devil May Cry Pick of Combat just got released and it was not received very well by the DMC fans, but al although it, it is a fun game, uh, there a couple of people already made videos about like criticizing the game and um, uh, saying what what is bad and uh, what is okay about the game and like I, I agree to I agree to some of them, but I disagree to plenty of things because um uh, people always portray uh, gacha equals bad so for this one so for this one i wanted to talk about the good side of the game i guess i mean i mean like the, some people actually said some good side of the game like uh like uh who was that again nilo angelo who made a video about the game and then like uh, the game is not for everyone and and that is actually and and that is actually a nice uh nice perspective into it so I don't have a script for this type of talk, so he, uh, I'll just freeball everything. Starting off with the story of Devil May Cry Peak of Combat. Yeah, don't pay much attention to the story. It's not, it's not the greatest, but it just exists. It just exists there for. It's for uh, like, like, have you guys watched like some certain like movie, for example, and then all of a sudden you see it suddenly had like a, uh, like a TV series or something? Yeah, you should treat it like that. It's it's something like that. Like, uh, this entire uh story, the story of the game is not exactly uh fitting with how the entire story of Devil May Cry goes. Like, it was it was said to be like uh, an aftermath of DMC three. But for some reason, Virgil still exists within this world when he's supposed to be in hell fighting Mundus and eventually turning into stone and then which leads to DMC1. So don't don't pay much attention to the story unless uh, unless you want to like uh, peer into it a bit. It's fine to if it, it's fine if you enjoy it or so. For me at least, I don't I don't see it that interesting and I see it just like a regular episode of like um like let's say something similar to Half Life Blue Shift. Okay, no, that is a really bad comparison. Next up is the combat. Well, for me at least, I'm I'm really I really am having fun regardless of what combat we actually get. And I feel the, and I feel the bummer that we didn't get the 1.0 or 1.4 uh, combat 
and, and we and instead we got like the oversimplified uh controls but uh if you if you were to look at it uh in a better perspective um i see the game uh turning out to be quite uh, a lot more better for beginners alike because the, the game the game is set to be on mobile and, and when the game is set to be mobile you gotta you gotta give some people a chance you know like like in in the 1.0 to 1.4 combat it, it is pretty great like you can you can be able to uh, pull off some extra cool tricks uh, with the with every single move set on on one character but the amount of buttons that the game has uh might be way too difficult to comprehend for a casual player like i i myself i myself play a lot of mobile games and then like a lot of uh gacha games in fact like like yeah we, we have genshin impact uh punishing great raven uh we got uh nikkei we got um what else what else of a uh, gacha game we have here uh honkai impact which i already quitted long time ago those games have very simple buttons, but they but then they serve their own purpose of uh, how the combat works. Like um, cer uh, certain characters in Punishing Great Raven, for example, uh, require you to like pull the button or something like that. Though I'm already satisfied on the combat we get in uh, in the release because um, it's already it's already enough. Like like uh, I don't I don't need to be like overly uh, hardcoring myself into the game. But now I'm hardcoring myself because of the simple controls. Like. So for the for so for the combat, you still have your usual attack button, you have your dash button, jump button, special button, and ultimate button. Well, every every single one of them, they they function just basic as they are. But if you were to look into the move sets of each character, they they, they serve really, uh, they they show really uh, something really flashy because uh, because the the game is more over mechanically flashy, except uh, sometimes it doesn't work properly. Well well. There's nothing much I can do about that. They, they, they simply need to fix that and then uh, I'll be happy on my merry way. Character upgrading. Well, it's not a big problem to me at all. I've been playing a lot of gacha games where you're re also required to like level up your characters and stuff like that. Uh, like, uh, like for example, Genshin Impact, you need to... Uh, level up their talent uh, talent skills so you'd be able to deal more damage or provide more for your team or, or something like in Punishing Grey Raven where you need to constantly level up your character so you can unlock more potential uh, on their passives and increase their percentage of damage uh, or something like in Nikkei where you, where you need to uh, give them armor and stuff like like same case with the DMC POC where, like you need you need better cards you need better stats on them yeah that is that is all fine that is all fine for me that like th this is okay this is just fine there's no problem to this because every single thing uh like the upgrades and stuff can also can already be obtained by just uh, doing the some some events and uh, uh some in-game resources and stuff what am i saying yeah i understand i understand for dmc fans who uh, who are not used to this type of system but like like um uh, at least it's better than it's it's better than nothing. To explain what you exactly need to upgrade for your character is is mostly their level, uh, their ranking, their weapon, their cards, and their skills. I mean, I mean like move sets and stuff. Uh, starting off with the character level, that is very basic. You can get EXP by basically doing literally anything, like maybe doing combat or or you know dispensing uh. Po uh these potions thingies or whatever they's called to increase the level of your character which also increases the stats of your character's uh, ATK defense and whatever uh, passive they're mostly uh, you go by the next one is the weapons which is you can also get from uh, from gacha but I'm gonna talk about that later uh, the the weapons themselves they aren't as bad even if you're using like a like a blue weapon blue weapon uh, blue weapons are technically the um, uh, the lower rarities while the highest rarity is the red weapons so i'm gonna be listing them in colors so uh, so having a blue weapon is not re really that bad because um what 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 comes more important is because because, because you can still rank up these uh the, the weapon uh, itself be because if you have mo multiple or like duplicates of the weapons you can rank it up and then you'll unlock more passives within that weapon and for leveling up that weapon of course you need to ascend it's it's similar to genshin really it, but it, it's not it's not a big it, it's not a big deal and then when you get into the cards oh the cards they they, they look 
they look so good when you have the right numbers. Mm, it, it was actually it was actually savory feeling when I see the, those numbers. Hey, when it comes to the cards, these are really really important as they give benefit to your character as well. Like like uh, additional status, like um, like bonus damage, uh, bonus electric damage, bonus uh, 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 ice damage or whatever. They they give they give so much benefit. Even even like uh, even like a overall damage increase. Uh, uh, maybe some rare cases of uh, mana increase, which is really really good, and uh, getting the right cards for your uh, for the right character really makes them a lot more powerful. Th this way of uh, like um, upgrading your character is actually pretty fine, uh, but uh, if you were to apply that on the main franchise, of course it's not gonna fit well because you know uh, in the in the main franchise they're supposed to be already that powerful and you know you literally paid for everything but but this is a free game so there, there has to be a catch and on, on, on how you're upgrading the character but but everything I, I wanted to keep i wanted to say this but i'm gonna say it later the next one are the skills the skills are simple really you, you don't really uh do much with these other than to enhance their percentage it's it's similar to punishing gray ravens uh, upgrade system where uh, if you level up the character even more, you get to uh, upgrade the skills even more, so they can deal more damage or like unlock passives and stuff. Although some of the passives in the skills that you can see can only be unlocked by ranking your character all the way to a double S or even EX, or yeah, yeah, those things. So that that's pretty much about the upgrading thing. And then when we get into the books, uh, the books uh, from from what I'm from what I'm seeing when I whenever I upgrade the books, I'm thinking like. Uh, they're like enhancing the cards themselves like um, like for a specific character for example like uh, like the the uh, the Cerberus book for example it upgrades all of the Banshee cards if I if I looked at it uh, correctly although I do not know the exact function so uh, please uh, somebody uh, please check uh, what it does what it exactly does because uh, I'm not a great one to describe what's going on here. you guys know that uh, that the main DMC franchise doesn't have yeah, there's one, and that is multi- <laughs> Multiplayer has been one of the most requested things, or at least for, for us, it's like one of the most requested things uh, to exist uh, in, a, in a Devil May Cry game. Like, it would be cool if we get to play co-op uh, together, like uh, maybe in the campaign or maybe just the Bloody Palace alone. I mean, I mean, DMC3 on the Nintendo Switch literally got uh, Style Switcher and, uh, and uh, two-player uh, two-player co-op in Bloody Palace, but that's not enough really because uh, we we would like to experience it in other franchises, uh, in in other games as well, like DMC4 and DMC5. Like DMC4 is is such a, it has a, so uh, some like how many characters like it has five characters like why can't we have that like imagine four people fighting in bloody palace with that thing like come on that is that would be so cool so that is what dmc poc has it has multiplayer it has co-op and pvp uh, although then in, in co-op there's two ver uh, there's two modes of the co-op the first one is a standard co-op in the standard co-op uh, you basically, uh, three of you basically uh, fight a boss, and then that's that, that's just about it. It's a standard co-op. The second co-op is named challenge co-op, but in reality, it's a fucking raid. The the raid co-op is actually pretty cool in my book because it, it, it instead of three players, it requires four players, and we are actually uh, trying to progress through like a multitude of bosses that are really really strong. Like the difficulty. That I'm playing on the screen that is definitely lagging right now because my recorder is being a piece of shit. Th this entire thing, the difficulty is only Demon Hunter, and we're actually struggling. And you know what? I'm actually having fun uh, playing uh, playing the raid co-op because it it's interesting. It it's something that a DMC franchise doesn't have. And then for the PvP, yes, there's some problems with PvP like um. Like some balance issues here and there but all, although everything is tangible everything is uh, fine i can still manage to beat the crap out of my enemy 
and uh, counter whatever they're doing to me like this annoying lady right here overall the multiplayer is still a fun experience because in in both co-op and pvp you can also challenge your friends if you want like 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 go to a like go to a custom uh, custom room or something and then uh, like three of you or four of you try to be uh, try to beat the boss or uh, like multiple bosses uh in in one go like try to coordinate with each other or go in pvp like maybe like do some sort of uh tournament bullshit in uh pvp and then like see who wins see who who will be the victor and and all of that stuff like co like multiplayer is really fun and i really wish it existed on the main dmc franchise like if it exists in dmc5 that would be insane i mean we do have mods for a multiplayer to actually happen in dmc3 4 and 5 but there are mods it would be it would have been better if it was fully implemented like uh like uh you know like uh, three players uh, against uh, a boss and stuff like that just like in dmc poc like it would be it would be cool it would be really really cool We we also have uh, we also have alternate modes in the game. If you, in case you ran out of pizza or something like that, we have we have uh, modes like Realm Conqueror, uh, Skyfall Well, uh, Airborne something something. I forgot the names. The Red Vine and uh, Bloody Palace itself. Although for for some reason Bloody Palace is now an, a leaderboard thing, but that but that is fine because uh, I get the rewards every single day in my mail and. Uh, it's actually quite a pain in the ass to play, but you know, it's it's cool. It's amazing at least The the for the leaderboard thing, you know, there's there's a bit of ranking now I mean, I mean, I, I forgot to mention that there's also ranking in PvP But I'm, I don't want to talk about ranking that much because I kind of hate uh, being too competitive in a video game There's no ranking in bloody palace uh, also in realm conqueror realm, realm conqueror is it feels like it, it that is the uh, that is the actual bloody palace of the game because you go you go through floors and floors and then like uh, your character uh, needs to get stronger and stronger as you progress through through that one and then like the enemies uh, uh, enemy uh, count gets steeper and steeper like uh, like there's way too many enemies uh, you need to deal with them uh, over time and then uh, in in realm conqueror however you're stuck with uh, using this the same uh, element as uh, as it is recommended like the first one right now was physical and as you can see i'm playing a roster of physical characters like uh like da uh devil hunter dante uh, swift arsenal lady and uh, devil crusher virgil so it's, it's still it's still fun as it is like uh like you could you could see here it's a bit it's a bit laggy probably because of my fucking recording but it but it's really fun to swerve with the um with the uh, new mechanics like uh like the elements and stuff like that and then the role the role the role system Wait, mentioning roll. したわね、主人公。サーバントを仲間にするには召喚を行うの。アリテに行っちゃうとガチャね。ガチャ。やっぱりガチャあるんですね。え、え。召喚にはフレンドポイント召喚と聖書石召喚があって。ガチャ。
And that is that is way better instead of spending a hundred dollars just for one character. Because because if you were to do what I said instead, you would have more than one character. Heck, you might even have a better weapon. Yeah, gacha is not really much of a big problem to me because I'm a, I'm a free-to-play player. I've been playing multiple gacha games and I spent no money on them. The game, the game is free. The game is free. There it is. It's your choice if you want to play it or not. I know uh, the game is not uh, not for everyone. Like I understand you, uh, some of you DMC fans that are frustrated that we get this garbage instead. There you go. I said garbage. But although it's just it's just gonna it's just gonna be there like um like you can still play the main franchise as much as you want you can you can even mod the heck out of DMC five or DMC four if you want you can you can still make uh, combo videos in DMC three although uh, since DMC POC already existed it's just an optional game you don't really have to play it if you don't like it and if you, if, if if you're really expecting it to be going riled up. Uh, you're just gonna, you're just gonna ha have to wait uh, for the game to actually grow. Like it was, it was cool in the first bit when it, when it, when it was revealed, but then, but then for the for the sudden change, uh, it's either for the good or for the bad. Like uh, most of most of you guys are just saying, oh, they they changed the system, they 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 they, uh, they changed the weapon switching into character switching. They made the combat less exciting and, uh, and less combo, uh, what, whatever, whatever. Uh, ju just just because uh, they wanted money, they just wanted money, and that's it. Uh, no, maybe, kinda, but mostly no. So that's really that's pretty much what I wanted to spat out in my head. So thank you guys for watching if you managed to tolerate all this bullshit. I straight up really don't have a script for this as I just started uh, talking out of my head and, and like like uh, just just saying the words that comes out of my head that I think about the game and I finally and I finally done it. I wanted to make a video of this like an actual script but making the script will make the video a lot more longer and and I, I really want to be honest on how I'm feeling about the game like the game is fine. The game is cool. Like straight up, I can just uh, like uh, like let's say I'm gonna go elsewhere. I'm not gonna have much problem because uh, because if I have a data connection, I'll just uh, boot up my phone, play DMC POC, and then just style around until the time comes. So yeah, if you manage to make it this far, if you if you'd like to see more of my content, well, well, content not like this, uh, consider subscribing. And if you like this video, can uh, gi uh, give it a like. And um, if you have any, if you have, if you have any, um, anything else to say about uh, what I what I think about the game, uh, please let me know in the comments, and please don't be vulgar about it. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe.